Hello again, folks. Uh, now we're going to look at applying the formulas for velocity to two different problems. One where the object does not accelerate, one where the object does. So, example one here says, if an object travels at a constant speed and travels 200 meters in 30 seconds, what is the average speed in meters per second? So a couple things we have to identify here. First, you always want to write out your given information. That will dictate what formula you have to use. Well, if you look at it, it travels at a constant speed, that's going to be key in a, in a moment here. But it travels a distance of 200 meters. Notice the unit is meters, so it has to be distance. So put distance equals 200 meters. In 30 seconds, 30 seconds actually would represent the time. So the time of 30 seconds. We're looking for the average speed. Now, from your readings, you know there's technically an average speed and an instantaneous speed. Instantaneous is at that instant. Technically, it's an average speed, but it's over a very short period of time. Average speed is the total distance traveled divided by the total time elapsed. So it's still just a speed formula. If we think back to speed, that was just distance divided by time, same as velocity, with a constant velocity or a constant speed. So we simply take our distance of 200 meters divided by the time of 30 seconds. And basically we have 20 divided by 3. And if you get your calculator, which I have right here, I'm coming back. And you take 200 divided by 30. Don't try to do it in your head. If you have a calculator, let it do it for you. 200 divided by 30 simply gives us 6.67 if I round it to two decimal places, which is more than enough. We're not working for NASA here, so we don't have to go and invent amount of decimal. Two is plenty. So 6.67, but what's my unit? We have meters over seconds, or meters per second, which is the unit that I requested. So that problem is done. Quick review, identify what you're given. You give it a distance, you give it a time, but I also tell you the problem is constant speed. So if it's a constant speed, we're not going to be using one that uses acceleration. We're going to use one that uses, does not use acceleration. So it's just simply distance divided by time. That's the first example. Let's look at the second example real quick here. Example two. What is the final velocity of an object that accelerates at a rate of three meters per second squared for five seconds starting from rest? So again, let's look at our givens here. What jumps out? Accelerates at a rate of three meters per second squared. So there's your cube. Two cubes to let you know is acceleration. One is the unit meters per second squared. The second is the fact that I tell you it's accelerating. So we have A is equal to three meters per second squared. I draw a line here so we don't run into it. For five seconds, five seconds is a time. So we have a time of five seconds. And this last part here is also a given piece of information. Starting from rest. Starting is the same as your initial velocity. So initial velocity, if it's starting from rest, is zero. And we're asking for what? What is the final velocity? Now our final velocity would just be. And since we have an acceleration, we can't use simply distance divided by time. We have to use the other formula for velocity, which is initial velocity plus acceleration times time. So we have V equals V sub zero plus AT plug in your initial velocity of zero meters per second plus your acceleration of three meters per second squared times your time five seconds that zero you just drop out three times five is simply 15 and we know the end answer end unit rather should be meters per second but let me show you why we take something in meters per second squared times time, which measured in seconds. Think of that seconds as over one. That one second cancels out with one on the bottom, still leaving one. So your end unit is indeed meters per second. And it does match up with the quantity that you're solving for, which is velocity. So the answer to that one is simply 15 meters per second. 